so I thought I would show some of my favorite stationary supplies or tools or whatever you want to call them and these are tools that I use pretty much every day in my planner so the planner I have is a Hobonichi Cousin of Ek. so this is the first tool that I really love I just got this not that long ago from jet pens and it's basically just tape that has a sticky memo uh, sort of tackiness to it so you can pull off however much you need and use it in your planner it's a really small thin size which i really like and i also really like that it's easy to remove and readjust and put in a different spot in the planner i also love that it's color coded because i've been using that um, i've been using color coding a lot lately this year so i'll just show you kind of how it works so it's basically just a plastic sort of tape and you can write on it with a pen a pen that I use is actually one that I'm going to be talking about in this video. It's an oil-based pen and I'm pretty sure you can write on it with a bunch of types of pens but um, this is a really good one. Sorry that you can't see what I'm writing but you'll see it in a second. So these tapes are actually not that expensive. I got it from Jet Pens but I'm sure you can find it elsewhere and I've been using it to mark plans that are not set in stone or I'm not sure if I'm actually going to go and do it so a lot of things I've been using it for is like CEs um, I sign up for a ton of CEs all the time because I really like to have the option of going but I don't go to the majority of them so being able to put it in my planner and then being able to take it out later has been really helpful and I'm just kind of showing you some ways that I've used it in the past so this is the pen that I just used. I am in love with these pens and I used that little sticker to signify which one is which because it's kind of hard to tell just from looking at the pen itself. Um, so one is the medium and one is the fine. And these are oil based pens so they write better on most surfaces. I got them to write on washi tape. They don't write on every single type of washi tape but they write on most which is really awesome. Um, they m resemble the G2, I think is what it's called, which is my favorite type of pen. So I really like that they're very similar to that pen. They ha have a really bold line. They're very uh, visible, which I really like, and they flow really well. So this is the thick one, just kind of showing you what it looks like. And then I also have the thin one and you can see here I'm writing over a tape. This is just scotch tape that I'm writing on and that's not going to come off. And one thing I really love about it is that in the Hobonichi it actually works super well. It dries really fast. Probably dries a, as fast as um, like fine liners which is another thing that I've used in the past but I don't love the feel of fine liners as much as this pen. This pen is really just very smooth. And here I'm writing on washi tape just to show you that it does write on a number of surfaces, which is really cool. And I've been using it all throughout my planner since I got it. It's my favorite pen at this point, and you can see how dark it is. It's really um, visible, and my cats are just hanging out, so I took a video of them. Another tool that I really like is these little tiny scissors. These are really great for traveling. They're actually just embroidery sewing scissors. So I got them at Daiso. Um, and you can see that they're just really good for like cleaning up little tiny things. I don't use them all the time because I do have a pair of regular scissors. But if you're somebody that likes to travel with your planner and use it outside of your home, they are super useful because they're just so tiny and they're a heck of a lot cheaper than some of the travel size scissors that you'll see um, in stationary stores. So this was like, you know, $1.50 at Daiso or something. And I know that they have them at other stores that they sell stationary or er, uh, sewing stuff because they're just embroidery needles or embroidery scissors, sorry. So I'm just uh, showing you how scissors work. <laughs> Um, another one of my favorite tools, I use this every single time I'm doing stuff in my planner, is these little tiny tweezers. So I actually got these tweezers at Daiso in their nail section because they have 
like deco stuff for your nails and these are little tiny scissors that you would use for doing deco on your nails but they're so useful for stickers and the reason I like to use them for stickers is because when you use your fingers on stickers it gets the oil and stuff off your fingers and onto the sticker and it also inevitably kind of pulls up on the edges of the sticker a little bit and I really hate that and it's really difficult whenever you use little tiny planner stickers like I do so I've I use the tweezers all the time and they come in handy for other things so they're just a really great thing to have around so that's pretty much my favorite tools if you want I can make another video like this talking about other tools that I really like to use but these are just some random ones that I really like to use so let me know what you thought of those or if you've ever used any of those before yourself and let me know if you'd like me to make another video like this because I have plenty more things that I like to use so Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.